How's it going? Trent Freer here. Just while I've stopped for lunch, I thought I'd do a quick hint and tip video. And my video for my hit and tip today is stinger hooks on spinner baits. Now, when I first started using spinner baits, I shied away from using the stinger hook because it seemed that I got snagged more. But once you start getting used to using spinner baits and how they ride over timber, uh, it's well worth having a stinger hook on for them days when the Murray Cod and yellow belly, golden perch or callet, whatever you want to call them, um, are a little bit shy and timid and they do short strike the lure. And you've got that extra hook because you'll find out on the day when they're taking that front main hook, they're a lot more aggressive. And then on them timid days when, you know, you might just get a little bit of a territory of strike or a short strike, you'll catch them on the stinger hook at the back. And it is well worth it for them days when you're out in the water and you've had five or six hit, hits of fish with no hookups, and then when you put a stinger hook on them five or six hits that you had, you possibly could have got all of them or most like three or four of them. Either way, it is definitely worth having a stinger hook on. There's a few different ways that you can attach a stinger hook. Um, when you buy them, they're called stinger hooks or trailer hooks. There's obviously a few different brands that you can buy. I'm a massive owner fan. All my hooks on my spinner baits, uh, my trail hooks, even my trebles on my hard bodies are all owner hooks. I'm just a massive big fan. That's just me. Now the way that I rig them, this is just me, my preferred method, is by just putting the trail hook straight over the hook and then using a clear bit of plastic tubing or bead or you can get uh, glow in the dark tubing. So I've got a little bit of glow in the dark tubing there. You just cut that to size of what you need. Um, you can buy little beads that you can thread over there. You do need to use pliers for these, so be careful you don't hook yourself. And then you just pop it on and you just let that swing freely. Now when that's in the water, it will stay at the back of the spinnerbait like that. Just because it's out of the water and it's hanging down, that doesn't mean that's how it's going to swim. But when you've got the pressure of the water, it sits back there nicely and you will get a lot of hookups using a trailer hook. Especially on them days when the fish are a little bit quiet. Uh, you will notice on the aggressive days when the fish are on the bite, most of the time you'll be getting on the main hook up the front and that's when they're just really, really aggressive and they will absolutely smash a spinnerbait. On them quieter days, they seem to do little short strikes or little bumps and a lot of the times they'll miss that main hook and having that trailer hook, you'll ping a lot more fish so it is definitely worth fishing a trailer or stinger hook. Now there are a few different ways that you can rig them. This is just my preferred method. Another way is by feeding the trailer hook or stinger hook into the plastic. Now this is a bozo four inch fish shad. And basically you just start by piercing a hole in the back of the plastic with the tip of the hook and then you just thread it in the back until you get to the front. And the part where you know where to stop is by using the other half of your spinnerbait. This is just a mumbler. I didn't have any other thing rigged up, so this is what I'm using. It's exactly the same for a spinnerbait. To find out where you want for your length, where the main hook's gonna come out, just lay it beside it, where the plastic's gonna stop against the head of the spinnerbait or mumbler in this case and then that's where it's gonna come out. So that's where you stop with this one. And then once you've found that, you come from the front with your main hook, as straight as possible and as close to the middle as you can get. Feel around for the eye of that hook, come up through and then thread it on. And you'll know that you have it in the eye of the other hook or the trailer st stinger hook because you won't be able to pull it off. It'll be, you'll feel the uh, eye of the hook rubbing up against the main hook. And then once you have that on there, you can use a little bit of clear tubing or a bead, like I said before, just to hold that plastic down. So that's a very popular method of putting a plastic on. But like I said before, my preferred method is I just feed the plastic on first. This one's just already got a plastic on it. 
This one's a, a Z-Man 4-inch shad. Get your stinger or trailer hook. Chuck that, fire that over the top of your hook. So it's just laying on top of your plastic. Get your clear little bit of tubing. Be careful not to hook yourself. And just apply a little bit of pressure until you can feel the point coming through the other side. And then just thread it on. And get it about halfway down that hook. And then voila, we've got a trailer hook on that. So if a fish comes up and short strikes this lure near the blades, because it's on a, like a bit timid, we've got an extra hook back there that we can hook up to the fish. And don't worry, if a fish comes up and grabs this one, just because it's not thread through the plastic, the pressure that you apply to that fish, the hook won't come off. It's not gonna swing up, go over the top of the hook at all. Just as long as you keep pressure on that fish, I've never had a stinger hook rigged up like this come off on me. So that's just my preferred method of chucking it on. I mean, putting it on like this is just as good. But in the long run, having a stinger hook or trailer hook is definitely worth having on a spinnerbait or your mumbler. I mean, there's lots of different brands out there. Some might be called stinger hooks, some might be called trailer hooks, but you'll know that they are because they're a straight, straight hook with a big eye to go over your barb on your main hook. So that's my hint and tip for today. Um, I hope you enjoy and get out there and catch a fish.